storage. And then we have three what we call operatories, but they're treatment rooms. Um, so we're going to outfit this treatment room and this treatment room with the dental chairs and uh, together. Uh, we're going for the open concept, so you'll notice the half walls. But when the patient lays back in the chair, uh, each patient, uh, they're working on the flooring over here. right here, um, where you guys are standing will actually be the full room, um, once we put walls up. Um, so right around, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have like, a lot of uh, side keys, we're going to be focusing on um, like uh, local products, we'll be bringing in like, as much local stuff as we can. Um, and this is going to be final fit, uh, functional fitness gym. So the small trunk of space is the general gym space. Um, there's also going to be that half wall, it's a little bit of um, like an office space, it has a hand sink there, um, and goes into my office, which also has a... To welcome everyone to the Thursday, July 21st planning board meeting, I'd like everyone to rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <laughs> all right. So, introduction of board members. To the far left, we have Paul Amatucci, Dave Andreessen, myself, Michael LaRue. To my right, Matt Henry. On Zoom, we have Jerry Graybill. We have Tammy, the town planner, Shannon, the admin assistant to the planning department, and Jen McCabe, the code enforcement officer on Zoom. <coughs> okay, first uh, public comment is open. Okay, no, no one coming. So next is gonna be the first is the public hearing, conditional use application, Danielle West and Jennifer Davis, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map, U4, lot 146, unit 107, Mint Preventative Dental Spa, PLLC. Hi, I'm Danielle. Uh, my partner, Jen, is working right now for Mint Preventative Dental Spa. I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. Uh, go ahead and give an overview oh, of okay. what you showed us. Okay. Um, today we showed the um, planning board our space, which includes three operatories or treatment rooms where we'll treat patients, um, an ADA accessible bathroom, and a staff lounge, and then a utility area. Um, we're doing preventative care for dentistry. Um, any questions? Nope. No nope. questions. Um, seeing no public. No butters. Yeah, no butters came to the site walk. Um, so I guess I'll close the public hearing on that one. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Moving right along is the next public hearing. I'm opening conditional use Allison Hurley, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 100, the Bad Wolf Butcher and Deli. Hello, I'm Allison. Um, so yeah, you guys took a look at our space earlier tonight. It's a cold room, it's a butcher shop, deli. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much the deal. Corner spot right there. I don't have any questions. No questions? When is the uh, ideal world, when is your intended launch for the business? So we're occupying the space August 1st. Um, we can really open at any point after that, but our goal is by September 1st. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Alice. Yeah. All right. There is no public for the uh, site walk and no questions, so I'll close this public hearing. Thank you. Moving right along, I'll open the next one. Conditional use, Sherry Clement, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 111, Primal Fit Main, LLC. Hi, my name is Sherry Clement, um, and you saw the space for Primal Fit, functional gym. Um, it has open space, uh, two bathrooms, an office, and a changing room, and janitor's closet, also known as my husband's office. Um, and, yeah. 
looking to also open in August. Great. Thank you. Any questions? Um, there was no public at the site walk, so no other questions. So at this time, I'll close the public hearing. Thank you. Moving right along, we're going to go to the approval of minutes, June 16th, 2022. I will abstain from these since okay. I was not at this meeting. Okay. Okay. I read the I read the minutes and um, excuse me yep. with David abstaining. Jer for no, oh, Jerry's, Jerry's here. here. Yep. Jerry's, Jerry's here. here. Sorry, yep. forgot you. It's Jerry. okay. I just look. I was looking at that very same thing. So, and let yeah. remind me. Let's go back to that. Yeah. What you just talked about, him. Okay. Just, yeah. We'll just oh, go back to that. Okay. Um, Why isn't he a regular member yet? He is. He is. Everybody okay. is a regular member. He got sworn in. Yeah. Okay. As of 1 July, you have a seven member board. Right. So we have to have five members, four members for a quorum. Four members. So we're still looking for one regular member. To the right. Board. Okay. Yeah. So if you have any suggestions or anyone out there has a suggestion. I don't know if I'm the fifth person that I would put on the planning board. I don't know about that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Old business, yeah. Okay. You could wait. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know you want to hang out with us. I'll make a motion that we accept the minutes as written. Okay. I'll second. Um, further discussion. Uh, roll call vo vote. We're going to start with Jerry. Yes. Paul. Yes. Ami, yes. Matt. Yes. All right. We got four, four yeses. And I'm, I'm abstaining. And abstaining. Dave's abstaining. All right, moving along, we got the July, my wife for that one. <laughs> the July 7th uh, planning board meeting minutes. Um, we did not hold a meeting on July 7th per the planning board bylaws meeting schedule. Um, we still have to... I would like to make a motion that we approve the minutes for the July 7th <laughs> meeting. Okay, I'll second um, for the discussion. Uh, roll call vote, Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dave? Yes. I'm a yes, Matt. Okay. All right, here we go. May I, Mr. Chair? Yes, Jamie. The reason that we do when you don't have a meeting, whether it be canceled, scheduling, whatever the situation might be, none of us are going to be around in 20 years. If something was supposed to be on the agenda or somebody comes in and says, why didn't you have a meeting? We now know why we didn't have a meeting. There was no meeting, was not scheduled. Hence, that's why when I started doing this, I spent over 40 hours looking for minutes when they didn't have a meeting due to a nor'easter. Oh, well. I actually went to the weather service. That was my last ditch effort to try and find out why there was no meeting. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Well, it's good to have that now. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Tammy. I want to make the next person's job here or here or wherever very easy. Mm. So. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving along in old business, the preserve at Rolling Meadows preliminary approval, R45, lot 39. Hello, so I'm Wyatt Page of Adder Engineering and I am here on behalf of Providential Equity Development and we are seeking a motion for preliminary approval on the preserve at Rolling Meadows. I'm now going to relinquish the podium to Tammy. Thank you, Wyatt. This was an administrative era back when you approved the condition that you deemed the application complete. Based on the ordinance in your subdivision rules, item F, 7.1H, it says within 30 days, and I'll just read the part where you need to deem it approved. It's the preliminary, a motion to approve the preliminary application only. You did attach conditions to it, and Mike will read the motion with all the conditions on it. The, the preserver at Rolling Meadows is going out for a third party review, and they were the ones that picked it up. Totally missed it. So this comes back on me. So this motion will take and bring them back into compliance with their application. 
and at our engineering knows that we only do one findings of fact on a report and it says we have to do a findings of facts which we do at the very end so this motion will be included in the findings of facts that it was done basically after the fact so if you have any questions is that an addendum to the finding of fact or is it just included? no it'll become part of the findings of facts that the <coughs> um, preliminary application was approved on this date if you so approve we voted it. on it being complete right? correct you just didn't uh, vote on it the preliminary you didn't approving approve the, the, preliminary. the preliminary correct okay now by approving the preliminary application does not influence your final decision the motions that Mike is going to read off have almost been completed already this is just the paperwork side of it it needs to go in for the third party review okay any other questions or all right well I'll make a motion to grant preliminary approval for the preserve at Rolling Meadows subdivision with the following conditions one landscape screening for the side yard of lot one abutting the Pine Hill Road properties and two all lights are to be down shaded to comply with the town of Berwick lighting ordinance and three inland fisher fisheries and wildlife identified areas for spice bush, swallowtail, butterfly, spice bush, and small world pagonia locations on the final survey. And four permits required applications and or receive provided to the board upon completion, receipt, or at final application submission. I'll second your motion. Okay. Further discussion. Uh, roll call vote. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dave? Yes. I'm a yes. Matt? Yes. All right. All yeses. Wyatt, do you have any questions? No, I do not. You can go if you want now. <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> All right. So, next old business is findings of fact. Easy, going easy extractions LLC conditional use amendment for extraction process change map R27 lot 9-1 so I went over these and just a quick um, quick little error that needs to get fixed is um, we you, on number two of conditions of approval the office of marijuana policy has now changed to the office of cannabis policy oh, so geez. it's just a uh, really okay yep that's good to know yep that was what a month or two ago it, it just, went yeah, through it just, it just, just happened. yeah it just yeah. happened uh, <clears throat> yep well, that's why we like when our board members take interest in their community. So, yeah. thank you. <laughs> now, you were also provided a copy of the Berwick Fire Department and the Police Department's approval letters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the Fire Department side, what are listed in here for those five pieces, they've already gotten the letter over at Easy, at Going Easy Extractions. I can now I got to keep the names right here. So these are life safety issues. So this is something that our code enforcement officer will also be tracking to make sure that this letter is complied with before the certificate of occupancy is issued. And I have a, an email from the applicant because they couldn't be here tonight, so. Hopefully, if you ask me any questions, I can answer them. And what actions are required on this? Tonight? You just need a motion to approve the findings of facts as amended, as amended yeah. because we changed one word on it. Yeah, I would make that motion that we approve the finding of facts as amended. And I'll second that. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Thank uh, you, gentlemen. Further discussion. Uh, roll call vote. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dave? Yes. I'm a yes. Matt? Yes. All right. Thank you.
There's that. Hmm. Now, uh, old business, conditional use, application, Danielle West and Jennifer Davis, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 107, Mint Preventative Dental Spa, PLLC. I now, want to drop that. Yeah, yeah. there you go. So <laughs> I just have a quick question for Jen, I think. Um, there was an issue with the numberings on the plans. Did they get fixed with the unit numbers? I don't know. Hey, Mike, they're all fixed now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. And also, Mr. Chair, number three on all three of the girls' recommendations from the planner can be struck because the lighting issue is now with the code side because they've already been approved for their site plan. So now it's a building issue. So Jen has mm -hmm. been notified of it. Okay. And actually, we met with Julie today, and she said it all looks good. So number three can be taken off for all three. Of our applicant. Okay. Looking for a motion to uh, approve. Uh, well, approve the uh, not the application. No. The conditional use. The conditional, conditional use. use. Yeah. yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the con conditional use of this application. I'll, I'll second that motion. Okay, further discussion? Uh, roll call vote. Jerry? Yes. Dave? Yes. Paul? Yes. I'm a yes, Matt? Yes. All right. There Thank you. Now, before the applicant leaves, do you would you like her back here in two weeks for the findings of facts, or with her permission, I can act on her behalf? Yeah, I don't think it's necessary. You, um, would would you guys have any issues? Nope. No. no. Okay. That's all what I need to see today. Yep. Mm. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Moving right along. Conditional use. Allison Hurley, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 100, the Bad Wolf, Butcher, and Deli. Same thing with number three. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. Have I got a ton of questions? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to say, uh, I was. I'm. This is my first or second time in that, uh, you know, in, in the ridge, and uh, I'm. I'm really surprised at how big your place is and your place is. I'm really surprised. I don't know why. I, <laughs> I just thought it was going to be a lot smaller. Yeah. But. Yeah, I mean, there's 11 acres over there, so I mean, you guys have used up a lot, of, you know, not a lot of it, but mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm really, it looks great, yeah, and I can't yeah. wait to see the final, the final you. touch in September. Yep. And you're gonna be open in September. August. August. Yep. Nice. Okay, I can't wait to see the final touches that you guys are gonna put on it. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right. Nice hold on, hold on. Um, on the recommendations on this one, it's number four, yep. not number four. three yep. that we're crossing out. Number three, I just talked to Allison about because at the last meeting when they were here, when you deemed their application complete, she was, she should have come in and met with Jenny to take and make sure her layout plan was accurate and complete and up to date. So I'm going to have recommend that she does that. And once that's done, that will be put into the findings of facts as a condition, if you so deem it, or trust that Allison will meet with Jenny before the next meeting. Okay. Yeah, it's just to resolve like a few small seating things. I mean, we still have to comply with the fire marshal and state level spacing yeah. for ADA compliance. So okay. wherever we move the table um, should be okay. So do we want to set that as a condition or it's up to you guys? How do you feel? With, with Allison having been on the planning board, I know she's going to do it. Yeah. But it's entirely up to you how you want to take and have it as a condition. And, and yeah. I trust Allison, but I think that we should. Just having forward mobility. Okay. I just no offense. No. So I just have to meet with Jen. Do I have to come back in two weeks? Well, let's get the meeting. If the meeting happens, Jen will take and act on your behalf. Oh, cool. And okay. let yeah. them know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So in the next two weeks, meet Within with Jenny. In the next two weeks, now taking call or text her. Yeah. Because she has a different schedule. As of one July, we work in two towns. Right. Mm -hmm. So 
that won't be hard to do. She'll text you right back when to come in and everything. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So now we're looking for approval of the conditions with the, um, what's it called? Uh, we were just talking about it. The the internal there we go. Thank you. <laughs> so I'll make a motion that we uh, approve the conditional use application. Okay, further discussion? Roll call vote, Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. David? Yes. I'm a yes. Matt? Yes. All right. David. Thank you. Cool, thank you. Dave, sorry. David. No, I, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Do you authorize me to come on your behalf for the findings of facts approval? I certainly do. Thank you. All right. All right. Thanks. Thanks, Alice. <laughs> See ya. Uh -huh. All right. Next you, on old business is conditional use. Sherry Clement, 12 Sullivan Street, tax map U4, lot 146, unit 111, Primal Fit, Maine, LLC. Um, it is unit 116. 116, okay. Do you like our little question mark? Yep. I saw the question mark. <laughs> I like this one. So it's unit 116. It. And it's number three on the recommendations that we're, we're crossing out on this? Correct. So I'll make a motion that we approve the conditional use. I'll second it. Oh. That was a jinx. I didn't hear. It was either one of you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Paul. All right, further discussion? Roll call vote. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dave? Yes. I'm a yes. Matt? Yes. All right, thank you. And Sherry, do you authorize me? Yes, ma'am, I do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. All right, no new business. Um, I'll open the second public comment. You, you're hey, more than welcome to leave now, Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Jen. So I, I, I'm not sure if I heard, but um, you do realize that um, two of those applicants don't have approved fire marshal permits yet? Yeah, they know as part of the recommendations, Jen, it states they have to get all state and local permits, and that's what they approved with it. Okay, I didn't hear that part, sorry. Not a problem. That's okay. why we work together. I didn't know we could approve conditional use without those. It's a um, life safety thing, that's why. Yeah, if they don't if they don't get it, they can't open. Because right. you can't issue the CO. Correct. Yep. Okay. So so we threw it on you, Jim. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, seeing no one coming up for the public comment, I'll we'll close that. And next is informational items, critical dates for town referendum. I'm not going to the podium. Okay, you can stay right there. <laughs> we were provided this by the town clerk, Patty. And these are the for the November referendum. The dates, the, actually, they were all due as of today for any ordinance changes. We do know we're gonna have some ordinance changes for the next June election of next year. With this being coming up so quickly, I don't really believe we have time to take and just send something in. We need to take and meet a couple times on it. So what I'm considering is doing some workshops on the agenda items or the ordinances that will need to be changed. Come June, I believe it's the low impact design model ordinance that we need to take and do some action on. The model ordinance has already been put out and has to go back to Maine DEP with the planning board's basic approval to it. So if a couple people could work with me after evenings, one night, two nights, whatever it might take, and then we can present it at the next meeting or the meeting the second meeting in August for the entire board to say yes let's send that to the state for approval which means it's they're not approving this ordinance we're just sending it back with any recommendations that the town of Berwick might have 
So you'll be the first ones to see it, and then come June, it goes out for the entire community to vote on. And then we'll have another one for the following year. Nice. So we're under a crunch to get the deadlines in. If we need to have Christy come back and do a Zoom with us, she said she would be available to do that. So, and this has the, the low impact design is going to affect all parts of the work. It's just not going to be targeted, which is what I thought it might be, but all people are going to be, because even if you're outside, the the this was um, that water, water, yeah, the storm water. Correct. Yeah. It's all going to feed into the storm water area. So let's say Matt decides he's going to do some construction, cuts four acres of trees down. Well, that's going to change the way the water is going to flow towards the center of town. Because if I remember correctly, I traveled uphill to get out of Berwick to go home. So that will affect how the water is going to flow down towards the center of town where we have all the MS4 culverts and the stormwater drains. Isn't that why they did all of that years and years ago? They dug yep. those culverts now? Mm -hmm. Yep. It's for the stormwater, not for your septic designs in the, the sewerage department. These are specific stormwater system basins and culverts. They, we just got done with all the inspections of them and we found all of the outfalls to them. We've got all of the outfalls identified. Yes. So that was something that last year we had to work on to get. So that was a good accomplishment. And with my fear of snakes, I want you to know I was there knee deep in brush. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. maybe I'm getting over that part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is in Arizona. So, <laughs> so I no, think we're I, okay. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I've just gotten so I can turn a page with the one on it. That's how bad my fear was. So I was out there in knee deep and we were opening and we found the outfalls and everything. So it was really, it was nice knowing we were able to find them. So, cool. so that's the referendum information. It has all the dates on it. So we'll be able to take and work with it. Um, one item that I thought was gonna be on the agenda for this evening was able to be pulled because when James and I looked at the permits coming through, they were included in their permit already, so they didn't have to come back to us. All right, so moving to the next informational items is low impact design model ordinance. You have a copy of it. So is, we can do a workshop as a whole, as a planning board, or if a couple of people want to take it on and work with me on it, not a problem. Either way works fine for me. So we could work with a workshop before a meeting. I'd rather not say after a meeting because sometimes our meetings go quite late. So not anymore. We set a <laughs> limit. Yeah, we did. Yeah, 9 o'clock. Yeah, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, yep. Yeah, 9 o'clock. I mean, somehow I think you know, at 9 o'clock that wouldn't be a good time to do Yeah. <laughs> I'd agree with that. But uh, either way, I'm interested in uh, meeting and being a yeah, part I of it. Yeah, I am too. Okay. okay, so we'll set so, a workshop yep. up at the first meeting in August and the second one if we need it. Okay. Like, even if it's just a half hour to get you so that you've had a chance to read it mm -hmm. and understand what you're looking at. And then even at the first meeting, if we need to have Christy attend via Zoom, she might be able to go over it again with you, which is not a problem. She said she would gladly do that. To make it easier, if we go before, come January, we can have everything set and ready to go. If any changes need to be done, we can have it. Any changes that need to go to the state, we'll have them before the September deadline to get it back to the state. Nice. All right. So next is the adjournment. I'll make a motion. Mr. Chair, before oh. you adjourn. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Anything else, Jen? Yep, can I have the floor for one minute? Yes, you can. Pre warning, I do have a four year old and a one year old playing at my feet, so you might hear them talking. Okay. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to put on air um, for the people at home listening um, what's been going on in the planning and code office because sometimes, you know, some people are frustrated and some people just don't understand what happened. So um, most of you know, but a lot of you don't know. Sorry, hold on, I'm going to mute for one second. <laughs> You're fine, Jen. It's okay. 
Okay, so what happened was the town of South Berwick and the town of Berwick partnered to share the town planner and the code enforcement officer for both towns. So Tammy is in Berwick on Mondays and Thursdays. I work in Berwick on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then Shannon, who you see in front of you, um, she is our admin. She's there Monday through Thursday. So anything you have or you need to get a hold of Tammy or myself and we're not in Berwick, we're in South Berwick, you can either pop over to the South Berwick office and see us or you can go see Shannon and Shannon definitely knows how to get a hold of us. So I just want to make that clear for everyone because um, it's a big shuffle, it's a big change, um, it's a good change, but I don't think we've been really clear and open about how it works. So I just wanted to kind of put it out there. So thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Thank you, Jen. Jen, I'm going to have Shannon upload the schedule to the front page of the website and have it run for a short period of time nice. so everybody can become familiar with it. And we'll try yeah, to get it too. loaded onto the website but, also. Yeah, so the code enforcement um, tab does have the correct information. I think the planning does too on what days and what times we're available. Um, but yeah, whatever we can do to make it a little bit easier, I would love that. Thanks. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So next is the adjournment. I make the motion that we adjourn the meeting. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor? Do I have to do a roll call on that? Or? Yes. Okay. Jerry's roll call. On. Jerry? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dave? Yes. I'm a yes. Matt? Yes. All right. Take care.